Hi, Fix Signs. So, let's get into your October message. Um, this is just going to be what you may need to um, look forward to, expect, understand uh, for the month of October. <clears throat> for Fix Signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Stellium. Let's see what comes out for you guys. This is for fixed signs for October. Fixed signs in October. Fixed signs in October. Okay, some of you guys could be moving um, or leaving somewhere. Moving in general, but I'm definitely seeing if you're not moving, you are going to be like, I just heard renovation and um cleansing so you could be removing some things from your environment uh this could even be not as literal as like packing up physical items and moving them out of your home but this could even be just like out of your energetic space um people things like kind of in a sense moving on and moving forward allowing like new things in your energy um i don't know why i'm hearing that the libra new moon affected you guys deeply um, so I'm trying to think of like what houses you guys would have that in Libra. Scorpio would have it in 12th house. Um, Taurus would have it in the 6th house. Leo would have it in the 3rd house. And Aquarius. Uh, is that 8th house, ninth house? I counted that wrong. Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, ninth house. Sorry, I just wasted, like, a whole minute doing that. But, um, okay, yeah. It's across the board for you guys, but I do feel like you guys are really... Um, this is about values. I'm seeing this being about, like, this is what I want, and this is what I'm tolerating, this is what I'm not tolerating, you know what I mean? Really starting to learn how to set boundaries, or really, um, even when it comes to compartmentalization, I don't know why that feels relevant, but maybe you guys are learning, like, I'm hearing when it comes to, um, I don't know why I'm pulling these cards first, I pulled the other cards first last time, but, uh, okay, that's a lot of cards. Anywho, when it comes to your um thoughts or how, where your um okay like i'm hearing energy leakages so learning where to place certain energies or wearing learning where you could have certain energy leakages so say like you're at home and you're thinking about work or you're at work and you're thinking about home or you're you know what i mean like you're learning how to focus you're learning how to um, set boundaries with people as well so say like you are at work and people are calling you like you know or you're at home and you're trying to focus on your own thing and people are talking to you like whatever it may be you're learning how to like <clears throat> really set these boundaries so that you can have more um, clarity in your life and more structure and more um, like I said space to focus on the things and do the things and introduce the things you want whether it's habits or like certain like a certain lifestyle or something like that that's what i'm seeing for you guys um but anywho you got earth element stability so you guys are seeking stability at this time a lot of cards came out here so i'm just going to read them all then you got 12th house escape so scorpio i did say you guys have libra in the 12th house um derivatively by the way so scorpio risings um black moon lilith mystery and then um, Uranus Genius and Gemini, I think. So yeah, there's like a lot of energy here where it shows that you guys are almost having like um, awakening, a spiritual awakening or a, a major breakthrough in your life. <clears throat> it feels like you're definitely breaking some kind of cycle. Um, and I'm, I'm still hearing moving. So some of you guys could definitely be physically moving away from an environment or people or starting like a new journey of some kind. Um, but with the Uranus genius and the Gemini, I think this does feel like some kind of idea that you guys have had, some kind of breakthrough, some aha moment or epiphany um, that is um, catalyzing this, like cat the catalyst to this moment. And then the 12th house escape and Black Moon Lilith mystery cards show that you are possibly having a lot of like spiritual synchronicities and like noticing certain things or just feeling really um connected to spirit right now um 
and this could also be what's guiding you so you're just feeling really inspired you're feeling like i'm hearing that there's a lot of movement whether it is even just internal movement or um or external movement but things are picking up for you guys they will be in the month of october that's what it feels like which is good this feels positive as well this person who's moving looks really happy so they don't look stressed at all um and then the cards you're getting here from the green witch oracle deck are affection strength and i'm gonna pull one more card um that's virgo energy and taurus energy affection strength and what else Oop. Um, continuance Capricorn energy interestingly enough it feels like you guys are going to have an unexpected change in um, October and it does feel for some of you guys like related to a relationship I don't know if this is gonna be like like a reconnection for some of you guys but it more so feels like <clears throat> for some of you who are like in a relationship already especially like you and your person maybe like taking the next step or um overcoming something so say like you bought a house or you finally are moving in together or something like that you know that's what it feels like the gemini i think card also makes me think of like the lovers card with these two people um like on either side like reaching out to one another so you could definitely be connecting with someone with the affection card and the strength card the strength card does make me feel like this is a connection that is um i don't know like has overcome some things and um it's really interesting like the way that this message is coming out it's like jumped to a whole different topic but um yeah, I think that maybe with these boundaries that you are planning to set or maybe even like whether it's moving in with someone or moving out um, of somewhere for some of you guys, this um, these boundaries, this distance, this compartmentalization, like I said, is going to be what really does actually provide you with more stability in whether this is a connection or just your life or your mental health or um, you know, things like that, but that's kind of what I'm sensing for you guys here, this is so interesting, because it makes me want to, like, go deeper, but I also know that it'll kind of venture off into another topic if I do, so let's just pull one more card to clarify this overall message, and then, um, I'll leave it there, because everybody else got to about, like, eight minutes or so. One more card, just to clarify this message for the fixed signs, please that is not one more card attraction okay like you guys are definitely attracting what you want and abundance look at that that's beautiful energy so attraction and abundance libra energy sagittarius energy yeah it feels like with me saying this is what i want at the beginning this is what i'm um i think that's what i said for you guys if not i said it for the cardinal signs and you guys could be dealing with the cardinal sign because you did get like libra energy here um but anywho like we're also in libra season and we have certain planets in libra we had the mercury retrograde in libra it's now in virgo because it retrograded into virgo but um this attraction card does make me think of like venus energy and what do you want to manifest and what do you want to um allow into your life you know what i mean like what are you tolerating which i told the mutable signs um on like a subconscious level needing to consider why you're tolerating these things or um, how you want to like break these cycles or how you can implement like um, almost like external structures is what I'm seeing with the like earth element stability um, <clears throat> and then what card had the Capricorn energy um, sorry I don't know why I thought I oh yeah the continuance card with the Capricorn energy makes me think of Saturn structures where there needs to be like lessons or discipline or sacrifice or you know, something that needs to be, um, configured, I don't know how to explain that, but, uh, better, but, um, something that needs to, like, whether it's rules put in place, you know what I mean, or, um, schedules, or things like that, that's also what I see by compartmentalization, like, knowing your clear roles in a situation, or a relationship, or a job, or in your home, um, you know, and just, allowing those things to um, 
provide you with more uh, clarity in these situations so that you feel more secure within them so that the people that you're dealing with feel more secure and that you guys can ultimately thrive within whatever whatever situation this is it feels different for everybody but I'm gonna leave it there today fix signs that's gonna be your message for the month of October I hope it did provide you clear with clarity if it did please um, like or comment and otherwise I'll talk to you guys soon bye